So in today's video, I'm going to take you behind the scenes and actually show you a walkthrough of an engagement session. So you will see some posing tips. I'm going to walk you through about seven different poses that I tried and played around with at a recent real engagement session. So last week you actually got to meet Gabe and Julia in my previous video. So you got to see the types of gear I was shooting on, that I was using a 35 millimeter lens, and you got to watch as I directed some of the first half of this portrait session. So if you want to go back and see that and hear some more of my direction in like a vlog style video, that is available here. So I will link that down below and I'll also put it up in the cards. So that was a really cool like part one to this shoot. But today I want to take you behind the scenes and share with you my thought process and my direction in some poses for an engagement session. So for this first pose that I want to walk you through, I had Julia and Gabe sitting on this piece of driftwood. And because most of this session we had been standing and walking and just getting some classic like on the sandbars type shots, I wanted to switch it up a little bit here. Sometimes I was having them both look out towards the water and sometimes I was having Gabe look at Julia, Julia look at me. So alternating between where people were looking really helps to mix up the different styles of shots that I was getting. So the next thing that I did was I went up on the dune to try to get a little bit of a perspective shift and then I had them stand on the piece of driftwood and the directions that I gave them were first I just wanted to have them um, arms around each other and kiss. Then I thought it'd be kind of fun to treat this almost like a balance beam and have them hold hands and like pretend to try to knock each other off of it. And so I told them pretend I didn't want any like true competition to come out and for someone to get hurt, but they were just kind of like tilting back and forth. And you'll see here some of the shots that I got from this perspective. I think these were just really fun and brought out a little bit more of their personality and their expressions and connection. And you could kind of see the warmth of the sunset leaking into the pictures as well. So then we decided to go down towards where the water was just super shallow. And I started to try to play around a little bit with a film camera. So I'm sending this film camera out. It's just a disposable camera. I'm going to send this out for development. Um, but then I switched over to my digital and I grabbed this shot here. I didn't actually pose them for this. They just did this naturally. And so I was just taking advantage of some cute moments. If you have a couple that's just naturally playful, naturally doing stuff, I encourage that. I say, this is awesome. You guys are doing amazing. I'm just going to go ahead and have you guys turn. So then at this one, I said, just pick her up and spin her around and trail her feet in the water because I wanted to make sure that we were making some ripples and movement in the water because I thought that would make some really cool interest in the photographs. And so I continued continued along giving them prompts of like try to hold hands here and then try to get the other person to fall into the water a little bit or try to get their their ankles wet or that kind of thing that way I can get some of the sweetness of these moments but also some playful like more adventure style photography as well and so we started getting some really playful shots here and these are some of just my favorites Again, I pulled out the disposable camera. I'm sending this off for development and I will come back and share whatever ended up coming from this camera. So I'm, I'm excited to see what comes out of it. It's just a Kodak color, like maybe 400 speed um, film. So next we went up onto the pier itself. And so I like to take pictures of my couples as we're moving from location to location, because I think that you can often get more interesting and more dynamic shots if you're just continuing to take pictures as you move along. And so I got a couple of them coming up into this space and I decided to get some of them with the pier behind them and then some against the rail itself. So for this next shot, I wanted to get some walking portraits of them. And you'll see that I got some in horizontal, some in vertical, but ultimately the directions that I gave them here were really, really simple. I just told them walk, Julia, I want you to lace your fingers through Gabe's and I want you guys to kind of bounce into each other. And so walking kind of slow, walking kind of um, almost like a little bit of a drunk walk into each other. And you'll see that as they continue to walk, they continue to get more and more comfortable and loosened up. And so so I had them do this a couple of times and I think that can really help to get 
different variation in their expressions. Some of them, they're looking at me. Some of them, just Julia's looking at me uh, and so on and so forth. And so when I see a pose that really works, I will often even tell them just pause right where you're at. And the only way you're going to get into that pose is if they were first walking. But oftentimes the actual picture that I take is like the end of the walking or the very last portion of it. All right. So next I wanted to sit them down and capture some of this, like the texture of the wood and um, just it have it be like a really casual shot where they're just sitting together. And it took us a little while to settle into this pose. So there's bugs everywhere, like trying to eat us alive and we're trying to brush those off. But we're also just trying to figure out like what pose feels natural, but also looks really good. So I'm trying to marry those two things together. And we kind of settle where Julia kind of points one foot more forward and Gabe is like more casual in his foot placement and it has like one arm on his leg. Um, but ultimately I feel like we settled into a really cute pose where they're kissing and Gabe kind of like pulls her face in gently. Um, so play around with it. Like it's gonna sometimes take a little bit longer to settle into a pose than other times, but I feel like what we ultimately got feel felt almost like a little bit like fashion-y editorial, like something I'd see in a magazine for like the jeans themselves. So I thought it was a really fun shot. And I know it's one of Julia's favorites from the session as well. So next, instead of moving them, I decided to move and I went around to the other side and shot a horizontal shot of them where you can see a little bit more of the water and a little bit more of the pier behind them. So in this next one, I had Julia face me and had Gabe face away. And I didn't know at the time like if this was gonna work out or if this was gonna look nice, but it ended up being some of my favorite shots from the shoot. And because this is like a little bit different, I like to do this kind of shot towards the end of the shoot when I have a little bit more rapport built up with the couple and they're willing to try some different poses and just play around like depending on their height differences depending on just their style as a couple it may or may not work for them but having some alternate shots where you don't get to see both of their faces can be a really cool way to mix up your poses and then because I really liked the light and I liked what we were getting I then had Gabe turn around and actually face me so that I could get some of the same style of shot but just with both of them smiling and looking at me so I like to think of ways that I can exhaust the pose and the situation before I move on to something entirely different. And so you'll see that here as well. Okay, so for this next pose, I know that I wanted something really close and intimate. I wanted them to be almost nose to nose and for Gabe to be holding Julia's face. And since this is kind of a little bit more of an intimate shot, I wanted this one to be one of the last ones that we did in their session because I knew they were totally warmed up and that they knew that we had gotten some good pictures because I had already showed them the back of the camera a couple of times up to this point. So I had Gabe really loosely holding her face and I just love the way that this turned out. So we have a couple different variations of this shot but I particularly like that you can see the engagement ring so always be very cognizant of the hand placement when you're taking engagement photos and if ever you can help it I think it's awesome to have the engagement ring visible so you'll see here on the screen there's another video all about posing and some of my best tips for getting amazing poses without a lot of time and without an assistant so go ahead and check that video out now